My friends, it's time to discover here today, Rakdos Discover, and I'm excited about this one for more reasons than one. So thank you for tuning in. As always, down below, you'll find today's timestamps. As we walk through why I'm so excited about this list, we'll go through the strategy objective as well. We'll go play that competitive standard best of one and best of three since this is a best of three list. So we'll give you the boarding for that too. And we'll pull it all back together in a little bit of a retrospective outtake. Now, if you got a question, if you got a comment, do let me know because I love to hear from you as always. And don't forget to social at join the Discord server, share your list because I love playing all your top decks. All right. So here's what we got going on here. A couple things. First and foremost, A, um, this list is produced by a good friend of ours, Jaffer. You should check him out. He's a great guy. I had the pleasure of actually meeting him in person in person in the Minneapolis con. So very, very excited about that and excited to cover one of his lists here today. So he did make Mythic with this one. So that is one of the reasons why I'm covering it. And certainly feel free to share yours as well, like I said. So here's what we got going on when it comes to Rakdos Discover. This takes on the big mechanic here, obviously from Ixlon, where you get Discover 3, essentially the uh, waterfall effect or whatever, as we call it. Um, exile cards from top of your library until you, or Cascade, I mean, it's like Waterfall for me anyway. Um, I'm a little slow some days. Um, until you exile a non-land card with mana three or less, you may cast without paying for its mana cost or put it into your hand. Don't forget about that. You can put it in your hand as well if you don't want to cast it. Um, put the rest in the bottom in random library. So this is a fun, fun list from, again, uh, Ixlon here. Um, we're taking advantage of the bat. We're playing things down with Bitter Triumph as well. We got Cut Down. We got Go for the Throat, Tenacious Underdog, Blood Tith Harvester. What I really like about Jaffer's list here is he's got a ton of one-offs and not just a straight up four of. I'm a huge fan of that. Many of you know that here on the channel. Um, and then additionally at the top in here is one, he's running one of the Deepest Betrayal, one of the Cruelty of Gix, which you haven't seen this card a lot or you don't see it too much. Um, however, it's a great one there because A, you can go find a card that you need from your list. A lot of times you're going to go grab this one and play it, and then you're going to get that Discover 5, which is going to grab so much value for you as well. So um, really, really nice there, um, and absolute gangbusters when you get it to fire off. So hopefully that's one of the things we can do here today. Um, again, taking advantage of Preacher here, Gix, um, she altered the other Gix. Um, and maybe the real Gex, there you go. Um, and Trumpeting Carnosaur, like we said, you can always discard this card to deal three damage to target creature or Planeswalker, which is a nice pivot um, with this as well. Playing that direct damage can make a huge difference. And a lot of times I've been uh, blown out by it, um, by them hitting my Planeswalker or hitting my creature as an example. And if you've seen some of the recent videos, we have played this list. Um, the other nice thing about this, we do got Cavern Souls. Um, so you can always make sure that you can land your Dinosaur if you want. You can land your Praetors if you want. Um, you can land your Phyraxians, Human Artificers, those kinds of things too. So, um, And then also, again, taking advantage of Restless Fence, the new man land um, in here as well. So really, really like this. Um, strategy objects this list really mid range to late game. Um, you really want to tie your opponent down, take advantage of these ones right here to really lock things in, and obviously um, really really leverage the uh, discover effect as well or mechanic. Um, so in terms of sideboarding here, uh, we're going to line up against aggro mid range and late game. Uh, one of the fun ones against aggro is this night clever. We've seen this before on other lists. This thing works great when it comes in. Your opponent's creatures are going to get minus one, minus one. Works great, uh, like I said, for that. Cut down's great for that. Uh, Anoint with Affliction as well. A Braid in there. Um, Lily isn't terrible as well against some of the aggro lists because you can just get kill their creature kind of a thing. Um, and then on top of that, uh, let's see. Exact Extract Truth here can be nice against the enchantment list. Um, Brotherhood End, great, great board wipe. Um, Gix's Command, again, another nice board wipe. And then we do have Breach the Multiverse as well. So um, that's not going to be against your aggro list, though. So when you do line up against mid-range, though, you're going to think about some of those, um, but certainly maybe start to think about adding Duress, Extract Truth again, maybe Gix's Command and Breach Multiverse. And then late game, we do want to stay under, but we're going to add in definitely Duress here. Um, yeah, Lily's a nice one to kind of shut, shut out your opponents. Gix's command might be helpful. Breach's universe might be helpful. But again, those two can be a little bit slow. So we want to get in there and get that damage in quick. Um, Nightclubber, you may want to just put in for the additional two damage. 
um, to kind of run through your opponents relatively fast as an example there too. So um, that's really the strategy objective of this list. Like I said, that mid range, tie it down, get to that late game, crush them with the trumpeting Carnosaur uh, as an example and take it home. Um, and we talked about how you're going to board there against uh, aggro mid range and late game. Let's go take Jaffer's list here into our competitive magic scene today. Like I said, um, we're going to run our standard best of one as we do, and then we'll also run it with our best of three here as well. And I'm super excited, like I said, to be playing this. We haven't taken advantage of it yet. So on top of that, um, we got swag, other great ways to stay connected and support the channel. This is just super nasty. Um, so we'll keep it and we'll probably hit our opponent has all artifact creatures. Um, or they're going to be uh, control, on a white control. Maybe they'll be humans. Let's see. Uh oh, if it is control, we'll find out really, really fast here. This lineup is not going to be great for us if that is the case. Now, the nice thing is we still get to see their hand. There we go. It is control, mono white. Right there, you go. This will be an interesting lineup for us here, then. We definitely need a land. We can't play that on anything. We don't want to use those yet. Little bit of a bad start, but that is magic, as we like to say here. Missing curve. We can deal with this. Play with our Gix. Well, Gix Preacher. I'm gonna take a draw off that. Um, we're gonna let that hit. Okay, again, because we do have this. And we'll do this. Perfect, another land. Question is, did they hit him? Did not. Now they did, though. Ooh, lots of good control with the artifacts here, which is always nice. They still have this. It's just fine. We need to decide if we want to take advantage of something else here. We can't make anything. We couldn't do anything there. We could run this route. Do this as well. that on the top. Now we can do two things. Ultimately, what I want him to do is get rid of board wipe. Then we can get this guy on. There it is. Now we'll see if they have the removal for it or not. There it is again. They did. The problem is to destroy non-land artifact there. Let's take this. Let's see what we got. Don't need that. This guy.
Now they have enough for their wandering emperor there. It's fine. Give that. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. What we want. Now, we do have to worry about the board wipe here. top deck there for us. These aren't holding up though, which is too bad. Like a bad matchup. Well, we're doing pretty good. I'm okay with this. We've lasted a lot longer than I, I was expecting. That. They got the two, um, that's a problem. We need to do this. Well, actually, we need to do this. Regardless, only one can attack. Fired bricks for seven. Then that's a problem. Problems and apostles here. Pastels and pastels. 
control list. We would hit it. We can win this together. Go. Now they'll have to play Put that on the board. Feel the energy of battle. Then the good news is here, water. though, we can go over the top. We they might have lethal, the people. and it's gonna hurt. Got new moves to teach you. No blocks. This is where something like the Gixxas can, where I can wipe the board, would be super, super helpful. Here. That's what I would do with this. Because it's not direct counter magic, it's enough to slow us down in mono white control, though. And that's what I was worried about as well. Ooh, here we go. Um. Or search your library for a card. Now we don't have Gix's command in here. So that's not going to help us. We don't have any of the board wipes. So the best thing we can do here is we can only play this and pull one in from three. There we go. Focus. There we got one. Ah. <laughs> the good thing about this is we pretty much got to see this whole deck play out despite the fact that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at one, two, three, four, five, they have lethal. They're swinging with everything, they're good to go. And we pretty much got to see their whole deck as well. Swing in, my friend. Five. Well, oh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna give it to him. Because we're not coming back at this point, because we can't wipe the board. And we're not gonna have enough to go over the top. They took all our key pieces away. Was a nice game, uh, net, even though we lost. Like I said, we did get to see the full Jaffer list there in action. All the cool stuff that you can do as well. Let's go ahead and play our best of three match here with it, though. Let's see how that goes for us. Maybe the best of three will go faster than the best of one. So it's possible. We'll see. We'll see what the shuffler gives us. Day D A I. We will play first. We will not keep this pile. That is a pile right there today. Oh, another pile. Even worse pile. Holy cow. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. That is pretty ruthless, my friends. Pretty ruthless. Ooh, and it's domain. 
And it's domain. Alright. Not necessarily do much better though. Maybe it's John. Now they're gonna find the color. Here it comes white. I called it. Do this though. We're gonna kick one of these. Let's see if we can get something better in our hand. There we go. Two of them. Perfect. Grab that one. I'm gonna load the board, my friends. Now we're gonna actually have to double block here, um, unfortunately. Do this again. There's the put in hand. So we gotta assume their next play is probably the angel. Maybe. Get rid of that for now. There we go. A lot of cards back in their hand. So this list is going to be chock full of dresses that we're going to need and anything that we can go really fast. And board and board wipes gixes as well. Don't think we're going to live, but we can try it. Be close. <laughs> Not going for the invasion, that's okay. Migration going on there, my friends. Ooh, nasty. Should we see what we hit? Let's do it, because this is why we're playing this list, because it is a lot of fun. Now, this is where something like a breach would work. We'll go to the next one. Breach against this list isn't a terrible idea. So we're going to do a few things here. Brotherhood's End is a great wiper, um, but we want to go with Lily. This right here, Sacrifices and Enchantment is really good. Um, Duress is really good. Affliction, target right, creature of his mana is three or less. Exile creature instead. If we have poison counters, we don't have that. Gix here, um, destroy each creature with power two or less. Uh, return up to two hard creatures or each opponent's sacrifices could be really good here. Um, if we need to get that off the board, make our stuff a little bit bigger, we're going to drop the cut downs. Uh, bitter triumph is okay. It's good. Those are okay. Tenacious. I'm going to, well, we want to keep the damage on. Um, would keep cruelty a gix So, cause if we get something off the board, that's not bad. We got eight. Keep the duresses. We want to keep it low. Want to keep those off the board. This is maybe a little bit better, huh?
Ooh. A little tough. Actually, I think we drop these. Um, pull, which is good. Take this guy off. Uh, Lily, I like in there. We need to get four more out. Run planeswalkers. Keep two go for throwouts. Or, uh oh, timer problem. Drop one dino, two dinos. There we go. We'll drop two dinos. So we're trying to pull it down a little bit more, even though we got to that six. If we get their stuff off the board, the idea is to pull back or to go search as well. We can keep this. Go crater. Beyond that, though, unfortunately, we didn't hit any of our key stuff there. Ooh, uh, bind and ley line. You get the ley line for now. If we would have went the other way. They still would have had enough. Matter. Raxian. All those are all off. Now they still have the bind, so let's get this one. So we're gonna force them to use the bind on this. And they didn't do that. So that is good for us. That is real good for us. Because now we can drop the crater. There we go. Still got the herd migration there too. Assume they buy in the cavern bath. Oh, no. no. That's not enough yet. But what we can do here is now they got that off. We'll do this instead. That way we can protect the Lily just a little bit. Oh, they had a second bind. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. now we're at. If we get one more land though. We'll be sent pretty good. Got one, two, three. They have enough. There they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got enough for that. We have to play Lily here. No more distractions. Let's make this quick. There it goes. Now this can pull stuff back from the graveyard. I'm tired we don't want to take one of our creatures and discard Gix, fortunately. So what we're trying to do is just slowly lock them down. They have the opportunity to either try and kill us. There they go. There's the that. After all. Upkeep any creature back. Just we just have the back. And the good news is now we have this. Now the problem here is we can't keep 
killing the stompers because they can keep bringing them in. So we'll have to see how. Oh, oh, brutal, 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 brutal. And we can't let that go. So wait. So I can't pull anything from upkeep. I think that's game. Didn't matter. I could block one more. That didn't matter. They still had lethal. Too bad for us today with Jaffer's list. I feel terrible, Jaffer. We did not get the results I was hoping for. Unfortunately, we got some matchups we just could not quite overcome. Now, we did have answers, which is always nice. And the decent piece about this is we got to see everything in the list, which is something I always appreciate my friends as well. So with that, even though we got skunked, it is what it is, and I wish I could do Jaffer more justice, but that is how magic goes for us here today. So with that, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you. I appreciate your support. As always, thank you for the likes and the subs as we grow this amazing community here. On top of that, thank you, as always, to all our members. We do have memberships available. It's a nice way to support the channel. Thank you so much. Additionally, we got uh, affiliate links. If you're looking for cards, those kinds of things, I do have that. Looking forward, uh, if you're looking for cards for the new... Uh, murders at Karlov Manor. We got that for you there. You can check it out. And then additionally, my friends, social, stay connected. I want to see your list. At me, join the Discord server, all that kind of stuff. I love playing your decks, um, top lists, and, and all, all those fun things. So um, with that, again, thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And in the meantime, may your Rakdos discover much better than I did. Discover some opponents that you can beat. Um, unfortunately, we did not today. And as we like to say, that is... Take care.